Hello and good morning, y'all, and welcome back to some Tower Unite. Uh, so today, I want to get my golden melons and my last 50 melons here on Ball Race for Memories. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we're probably going to hop in the plaza and do the same old, same old. But uh, I believe i got to get my melons on levels 4, 7, and 8. So I just want to get it out of the way, and then in the meantime, I should also be able to get the, the last 50 I need. And we're just going to kind of go from there. Uh, I am not going to say I'm Tower United out, but I've been so busy making my resort. It's almost done. I got the finishing touch-ups and one room left to go, and I will be ready to unveil it, make a video, stream it, and upload it to the Steam Workshop. Uh, but it has been such a big undertaking, and just, um, I don't know. Like, I've been wanting to record Tower, but, like, I've been on Tower for, like, hours every single day finishing up this project. And I have not been in the mood to, like, do anything else. But, uh, I want to make some units back. I think I'm down to, like, 3.8 mil right now. My, uh, my Tower Unite balance is drastically going down. So, let's see. Let's kind of build it back up. And, yeah. I'm just kind of, like, ready to play something that's not Condo Maker. <laughs> For a little bit. Oh, God. I hate the timing on this. Go. Made it. Praise me. But hopefully everyone watching is having just a nice swell old day. Oh, God. I am very tired today. I am, oops, very fatigued. I have not, no, I've been sleeping actually halfway okay. It's just, I my brain's been all over the place like last day or two. But, we good. We good enough to make the video, but this commentary may start off like a little bit slow, a little bit rough, but I mean like I think people that come to this channel are kind of used to my uh, commentary being kind of rough. It is what it is. This is like my post stream sort of thing that I do, you know? Ugh. Why my entertainment value is kind of like all gone at this point. But you know what's really entertaining? I've been on stream playing um, Dead Island 2, and that game is fantastic. I didn't really expect much out of it, because I didn't really like the first Dead Island that much. I thought it was, like, okay. But the second one, oh my god. It is one of the, my favorite zombie games I've ever played. I'm nowhere near done with it yet. I'm, like, 17% complete, and I think story mission-wise, it's, like, 35 40%. But, oh my god, dude, it's so good. I kind of feel bad the game just kind of, like, launched, like, with almost no fanfare, it feels like. It was just kind of, like, it was stuck in development hell for, like, 8-9 years. Like, I always remember the first trailer they showed for it. But then, like, nothing. And then all of a sudden it's out. But my god, it's, like, really, really, really good. Um, which is just lovely. Alright, so the first golden melon should be down here. Oh god. I gotta go down the left path here. And I just gotta hope I don't fall off. Because you know me, I just, all I do is fall off. I hate this. How do you do this? <laughs> I hate these things, dude. I'm going to have to restart memories if I want this golden melon, I think. I get one more go at it. Level 7 and 8 is way easier. Jesus, dude. How do you do these? I'll never understand it. I got it. Whew. I hate that so much. But I made it. But I hate it. But yeah, Dead Island 2, great game. Excellent game, even. But I've been playing anything else. Uh, mainly just Deceive Inc. Deceive Inc. is pretty good. Um, I'm getting a little... I don't want to say I'm getting tired of the game. But I'm getting kind of tired of how certain aspects of that game work. I guess is the best way to put it. I must get my attention. I think I have like 150 hours in it now. It's been pretty good to me. I'm feeling a lot here, dude. Um, and then I've also been playing the new season of Fall Guys. Which, I really did not like the new season of Fall Guys the first time I played it. I put, like, an hour and a half, two hours into it, like, the the, the other day. And then I decided to give it, like, another go the next two days. And uh, I'm actually really into it now. They added, like, a course builder, and, like, a lot of the stages are kind of made with a course builder right now. And they put up, like, a bunch of challenge stages, and they changed, like, how the whole battle pass thing works. Like, whoop de doo But, and now that I'm kind of getting used to the whole, like level creator aspect of it like it's it's really good they added like 20 new race rounds into matchmaking this season 
which is a ton. Uh, the only issue I think really, there's only really two issues with it. It's one, the level creator is very limiting. Hey, there's our 500. Um, incredibly limiting. Uh, there's you can only do race rounds, and they only have like a uh, a couple of parts to use. But like you can still make some really cool stuff in it. And I still like the vis I don't like the visual style of it. You can either go with like the basic season one style, like kind of like graphics, or you can go with like this pixely style, which isn't really great. All right, let's get our next melon, which should be a uh, here. I think I just gotta follow this down. Yeah. Boop. But yeah, that's the only thing. I, I'm just kind of like a little bit off put by the visual style and like how limited it is, but like you can make some fun stuff in it. Yeah, new Fall Guys season, pretty cool. Well, I think that's really, really all I've been playing since I last made um, a video. Oh shit. I've been, I've been a little bit boring. Huh. I think I talked about Brock the Investigator, like, last time I made a video, but if I didn't, it was kind of like a, a hybrid of, like, Streets of Rage and, um, like, a point-and-click game. It was a really interesting combo. Super long, great story, tons of endings and branching paths. Like, really impressive game. Hey, we got our melons. Nice. Wow, it's not like watching some movies. Like, that's really all I've been up to. Oop. I might as well finish this run of memories, by the way. I don't see why I wouldn't. I think I'm at, like, 5 out of 10 plays. I might as well get play number 6 out of 10 for, like, one of the other achievements. There we go. Which one did I watch the other day? Oh, I watched Lights Out the other day. Finally got around to that. That was a cool little movie. Super short. It's like maybe like an hour 15 or so. Uh, the only issue with that movie was the fact that it was like purely jump scares and like only jump scares. Like if you want jump scares in your movie, lights out like every five minutes you got a jump scare. But it was actually a really fun story. I think it's like the extent of like all my entertainment. Um, in life, like my diet's going pretty good. I've kind of got things... More or less adjusted to, like, my low sodium and everything. My, uh... If you haven't been here for it, heard me talk about it, because you have to, like, watch a video in a bit. Because I think I've talked about it in YouTube videos. Uh, my blood pressure was sky high. It was, like, 173 over, like, 128. It's like we're talking, like, heart attack stroke levels. Or nearing that kind of, like, blood pressure. So I've had to, like, kind of rein in my diet and, like, make some changes. And, like, start going for daily walks and whatnot. Uh, it's actually going pretty good. Uh, the blood pressure has been kind of going up and down, up and down. But, like, I actually left hypertension uh, two days so far. Which is nice. I was back in hypertension, like, two days ago. But then I left it again yesterday. I don't know where I'm at yet today because I haven't measured myself. But I've been, like, flirting with the line of, like, getting out of it now. And my pressure is dropping a lot. So that's really good. And I'm, my walks are getting a little bit easier and easier. That's still kind of, like, tough on me. But they're getting easier. Uh, when I get my blood work done in a few weeks. So I can find out if there's, like, anything else wrong with me. Because there very may well be. So we'll see. For all that, my front of life's actually going pretty okay. I, uh, I found a way to make tacos work yesterday. I made some homemade tacos. Which was lovely. Um, I can't really do tacos every day. But I had, like, some fresh, like, butter lettuce... And tomato, and I use like this like 40% less sodium like seasoning packet, and I use like 86% ground beef, and like I did like crunchy shells, and I was able to pound down quite a few of them, and I was like still like under like my caloric intake and sugar and salt intake for the day, which was great. I was able to kind of like enjoy my food, which was nice. This time that I did, I did. So I don't know. I'm kind of keeping everything together, trying to. Okay. Wait. Wait. Okay. Whew. Oh, 
was worried that I wouldn't make it there. But we did. Hooray. Two more levels to go. I don't know what I want to do in um, the plaza. Sorry, like, my train of thought keeps dying today. Like I said, my, uh, my brain's kind of dead. I'm going to blame it on the fact that I'm trying, like, LaCroix for the first time. Uh, I've never had it before, but it was, like, three or four bucks, like, for a 12-pack. So we got, like, this, like, Raz Cranberry kind. And it is so bad. <laughs> it is actually astonishingly bad. But, like, I don't, like, really waste food, really. Or I try not to. So I'm going to drink through all these. But uh, it's not getting any better. I'm on, like, my third can of it now. And every time I take a sip, I just think it tastes like the tin can. I've heard a lot of people just say it tastes like they tried to find flavor, and you almost have, like, the slightest hint of a flavor that, like, was, like, burped out of someone from, like, a mile away. Like, you can kind of, like, get the scent of it. I don't think it's, like, that weak, but it's pretty freaking weak. It just tastes off. Alright, where are we gonna go? Let's go to East, too. Let's do it. So there's more excitement in my life. At least I got, like, this, uh, this, like, um, sparkling water called, uh, Sparkling Ice, I think is the name of it. That stuff's really good. Super flavorful, but a lot more expensive. Alright, so what should we do? I want to make money back. Wait, is Balloon, Balloon Burst is going? Let's go. I don't know how much time's left on it. But right now, like, my big motivation is getting units back. I don't think I'm going to get back to the 6 million range anytime soon. But it would be nice to work my way back up towards the 5 million mark. I probably have about like another 100-ish, no, maybe not even 100,000 left to spend on the resort. I might be down to like my final 50k I gotta spend. I'm gonna have to cut my ambitions on the resort a little bit compared to what I wanted. Uh, because I'm starting to get some frame rate issues. I'm using my PC on Ultra as like kind of like the test for like how well optimized things are. And I'm starting to like dip below 60 in select areas. Like I'm going down to like 55, 50, which means I have kind of overdone it in some areas. Thankfully, the last area I get a build up, build up isn't overdone, but I got to be very careful. Uh, now we're kind of like in the make or break the optimization section So I'm gonna build up that final area And then I'm going to just do my little final touches which is gonna be huge and then I'll be finally able to publish it I'm really excited for it But I'm getting like dangerously close to having it be a bit of a mess optimization wise Because I think it's almost at like 1800 items now Of which I think it's like 17 or workshop so I've kept the workshop item list very low incredibly low and they're pretty spread out too but I gotta be careful all right so what do we got which of these teams isn't a member of NHL's original six era the OG six Philly Which member of the English band The Double X released their solo album in color in 2015? I don't know. Okay, Jamie Double X is too obvious, but I have no idea who they are. I've never heard of that. Who painted Swan Reflecting Elephant Sleep in the Persistence of Memory? Jackson? Salvador? Okay. I don't recognize the names whatsoever at the moment. Uh, Walter White is the initial WW. Although you could also make a argument for Willy Wonka. Angry Video Game Nerds, Alter Ego's Board James, that is correct. Excellent series. What song plays in the ending credits of the anime Ergo Proxy? I have no idea what that is. We're going to go with Sadistic Summer. Paranoid Android. Got it. Got it. Which of these Pokemon cannot learn Surf? You're asking me Pokemon question? I don't know. The Star Trek was name of Spock's father? Oh my god, I'm getting everything I wouldn't know. Somehow I knew that, but I didn't know it. It was just a guess. In season one of the Netflix political drama House of Cards, what, what government position does Frank Underwood hold? 
Yeah, I wouldn't. I didn't watch it. Which player Kung Fu kicked a Crystal Palace fan in January 1995? I'm gonna go with Z because his name is Seaman. Alright. Well, I only got four right out of ten. So I want to try this again. I'm gonna do one more trivia and then we'll rotate somewhere else. We also have one person. We got Sheffy. Shout outs to Sheffy. Alright, one more go with this. Let's see what we got. Which of the following ancient peoples was not classified as uh, Greek? Uh, you know, no, no, no. I'm, you know, no I'm, I'm calling my veto. I'm calling my trivia veto today. I'm reboot. I'm, I'm restarting it. We're doing it again. I think. I think I have a fair claim for veto. Let's go. What's the name of the main protagonist Legend of Zelda franchise? That'll be Link. There we go. Nice and easy. What year is the game Team Fortress 2 released? Team Fortress 2 was... Oh... Was it 07 or 09? Oh, 07. So I was like still in high school, and I think I was I still some high school left by the time I bought the orange box. Uh, who wrote the Sinheed or Sinheed O'Connor hit? Nothing compares to you. James Prince? I have no idea. R.I.P. Prince. Who is the creator of the comic series The Walking Dead? Uh, oh God, it's not Stan Lee. I know that. Kirkman sounds right. A stint meter measures the speed of a ball over what surface? Oh, putting green? I was like, that, that seems like something you'd measure. Type 1 diabetes is the result of a liver working improperly? Is type 1 liver? Is it false? I don't know. I'm more familiar with type 2. Uh, in the game Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64 was the first partner you... Wait, the first partner you meet is a Goomba. What is its name? Is it Goombella? Goombario? I don't know. I haven't played Paper Mario in ages. Poseidon is the god of the sea. Also, the god of the roller coaster out there. One of Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign promises was to build a wall. Yes. I don't know why we're getting Trump trivia here, but yes, that was one of the things. Uh, which of the following is, is the longest river in Europe? I want to say B. Is it Volga? Okay, never mind. Yeah, we got six right, though. That's better. That's better than the last time. So we get a summer character out. Let's go see him. Let's go. Let's Vincent Van go see him. I think I actually see him on the dock, but we're going to go up here anyways, just in case. Okay. On the dock. I never use treasure. I never do treasure from the sea. Should we do it? And call the video because I never do it. Uh, other. Where is my um metal detector? There it is.
You didn't equip correct. There we go. Let's do it. I never do this. Oh, they really eased it up, didn't they? I realize they ease it up this much. I haven't done this in so long. I didn't realize like the metal tech didn't look like this. Wasn't it different before? Thank you. There we go. We got two here. Nice. Like this. Okay, so we got all this side, I think. We got four left. So let's go to the other side and let's finish this up. And then there's one thing I want to go buy in here for my resort. Ah. The game just untabbed because Epic Games... <laughs> was like, we need an update. It's like, no. No, you don't. You literally played Dead Island 2 for me. At the moment. I think we got two left now. Can they go all the way up here? I don't think so, right? Or can the treasure from the sea go all the way up here? I don't even know. Probably not. It's probably just like the haunted remains. Let's just run down the middle here. Do a little bit of a serpentine. Could have missed stuff on the first beach, actually. Nothing's over there, so we'll check the other beach really quick. Do it. Serpentine, serpentine. Da 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 da. Serpent, serpentine. Do 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 do. Do do do. Oh my god, Epic Games, for the love of god, stop tabbing me out. <laughs> I'm not even using you at the moment. And they're both on top of each other. How quaint. Okay, so we got them all. Alright. So. I want to buy something for my resort. It's not really a spoiler. I just want to fill up the outside a little bit more. The outside is like, kind of like what struggles in the resort. I can't go too crazy with it. But I do want two basketball hoops really quick. A spare basketball as well. Anything else? Not really. There, you got to see me buy some stuff. Now you know there's a basketball hoop on the resort. <gasps> tragic. Well, not really tragic, but scandalous. Who would have guessed? Alright, but I guess we're going to call the video there. I got to ramble, got to do my bad commentary, got to dig up some treasure, got some achievements, did some trivia. So you know what? Good enough. That, that'll be a video. But uh, I'm going to try and, I don't know, probably relax for a quick uh, quick little bit. And then I'm going to try and bang away at the last bits of my resort. So I can have it ready in like two, three days for people to say. Uh, so that'll be the plan. Hopefully I don't lose my mind doing it. But uh, we're going to do it. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you guys again in the next video. Y'all have a lovely day. And as always, toodles y'all.